willing to bet that most of you guys watching this video know what a rattlesnake is, but I'm also willing to guess that at least some of you don't know how the rattle on the end of the rattlesnake works. Rattlesnakes are very well known for being rattlesnakes. They have this little attachment on the end of their tail that they basically shake at predators and other threats being like, hey, I'm here, you can fuck right off. Now, most people, their minds go to maracas when you think about shaking something around to make a sound. Logically, that makes sense as maracas, they are shaken, they make a rattle, they have these little beans or seeds or whatever have you inside of the wooden casing. And so again, logically, that is where the brain would go when thinking about how a rattlesnake rattle works. However, that is not really how it works, that is not the case. Now, this is a closer up image of a rattlesnake rattle. You can see the end one down there, that is the oldest one. And as the snake ages, it sheds its skin and whenever it sheds, it can add a new segment up here right at the top. So as it ages, the rattle gets longer and it actually can be used to tell the age of a different rattlesnake based on how many segments of the tail it has. Now, to make the sound, there's not actually any loose, like free floating bits in there, like in an actual maraca that where there's beans and seeds, there's nothing just free floating in there. There's no like particles rattling around inside a hollow tail. This is a cross section of a rattlesnake tail. You can see up the end there and you can see all of these segments. Now these segments are hollow, but they don't contain any loose particles inside them to make the rattling sound. You can see each ridge here on the cross section. It tends to correspond with each of these bumps in the visible segments on the fold intact rattlesnake rattle. Now, how this works is all of these segments are very loosely connected to each other. So when they shake, all of the edges are hard and calcified and they rattle against each other, which is what actually produces the sound. So when the rattlesnake is agitated or angry, it will shake its rattle, causing these segments to knock against each other, producing the sound. So it makes the same rattling sound as a maraca, but not by the same mechanism. There's no loose particles in there shaking around the inside like there is in a maraca instrument. And basically, this acts as a warning sound for the snake to be like, hey, I'm here, I'm very venomous, you do not want to get bit by me because that will be a very bad time for you, so I am giving you a very clear warning to just go away. 